show. Events, businesses, and people. Anything and anyone causing a ripple in the community. And now, let's dive in to The Splash Live. Good morning and welcome to The Splash Live. Dave Scott, right here at our Civic Center TV studios. Good to be with you on this Monday morning. Wow, is it absolutely beautiful. Sunshine, we're going to see 80 degrees this week. We'll get to the weather in a moment. All of our community stories and information coming up as well. Thank you for tuning in for 90 minutes of live local television each and every Monday through Friday right here on Civic Center TV. Starts out with a splash live at 9.30. Tyler Keefe will be in at 10 o'clock with a megacast. Splash, very local megacast. Sure, Greater West Bloomfield, Oakland County, and the rest of the state. And uh, we're just grateful that you take, uh, take an opportunity to tune in each and every morning. Thank you for watching us on all of our outlets. It starts, of course, with Comcast Channel 15. That's where it all began over 20 years ago in the Greater West Bloomfield area. You can find us there uh, on Channel 15. On AT&T, if you're an AT&T subscriber, look us up on Channel 99. It's a, it's a menu system of all the local community channels in Metro Detroit. Great way to watch is also on civiccentertv.com. You'll find our archives, lots of other helpful community information, and of course, our live streams. Many people choose to watch us live each and every day on social media. We're streaming live right now on Facebook Live and on YouTube. Just go in there and look for Civic Center TV. And then, of course, we are live on the radio, our own local radio station each and every day with repeating broadcasts throughout the day of the show. So if you miss it, if you're missing it in the morning, maybe you're tuning in in the afternoon. That's cool. 89.3 Lakes FM. And uh, you can hear that all around West Bloomfield and a little bit beyond. Weather-wise, today we're off to a pretty good start. Sunshine and 43 degrees. It's going to be 67 degrees, maybe even a little bit warmer. It's going to feel great in the sunshine. Great day to get out and hit those West Bloomfield trails or maybe start working on the dock if you're really brave. Uh, tomorrow, 74. And then look at Wednesday, 79 degrees. It's like July weather coming up this week. So a big change from the really cold pattern that we had that just kind of snuck in us and snuck in on us in early April and then all those storms and it is so good to have a great weather week and that weather is going to continue throughout the week so uh, get out and enjoy um, our greater West Bloomfield area. So look at this adorable puppy that we have for you on TV. It was found in the Wabeek area right at Long Lake and Middle Belt over the weekend. And we want to renew and reunite this beautiful dog with her family. She is chipped, but unfortunately last registered chip owner is in a vet's office that hasn't seen her in three years. So um, they cannot tell electronically whose dog this is. Proof of ownership is required. We know it's somebody's wonderful dog in the West Bloomfield, Bloomfield Hills area, call the Bloomfield Township Police Department, 248-433-7755. 248-433-7755 if uh, you can help find the owner. And it just, <laughs> it just, you know, when we lead with a missing dog story, that tells you that this is truly your local radio station I, and TV station. I like, I like to get to the missing dog stories right out of the, out of the, out of the, the beginning of the show. So um, it is National Public Safety Telecommunications Week, a great week to honor the service of our dispatchers who do an amazing job. Thank you to each and every one of you. I was in the dispatch center, and you're going to see video um, later on in the program of the West Bloomfield 911 Center. And we were in there, and uh, there were no calls coming in at the moment, but I, I popped my head in there when it's extraordinarily busy. Our dispatchers do a great job if you've ever talked to them on the phone. Um, the West Bloomfield Fire Department on Facebook is saying kudos and uh, making sure you know that it is National Public Safety Telecommunications Week. The Veterans Coffee Social in Sylvan Lake is going on right now. So you might have missed this morning's, but if you're heading off and you're heading over to the community center in Sylvan Lake, you're going to the wrong place. Uh, this event is at 1615 Lakeview in Sylvan Lake, right around the corner from the community center, but it's in a home on the lake, not at the community center. Now, all Lakes area veterans and, and really everybody else are welcome to come drop in, have coffee, conversation, uh, talk 
about uh, our military, our great military service. Uh, you know, certainly veterans getting together and having conversations and dealing with issues that are unique to veterans. So if you're a veteran and you'd like to attend, maybe you missed this morning, but you'd like to go to other events, you can get a hold of Greg Miller. His number is 313-575-2753-313-575-2753. If you're watching this live and you're on, you're on your way over to Greg's place, um, nope, not the community center. Get over to Greg's house. And uh, if you don't make it today and you're a vet, great opportunity to get together with some matter other veterans right here in our community. Big congratulations to this guy. Welcome Jamie Stottlemyre to the West Bloomfield Schools. He is the new assistant superintendent of facilities and operations. Jamie ensures their buildings are safe, secure, environmentally healthy, and well maintained by providing outstanding support for the educational process. We've got a, a lot of resources and buildings here in the greater West Bloomfield area and certainly with the West Bloomfield schools. Big job, Jamie. Look forward to, to spending some time with you and uh, congratulations on, uh, on your, uh, your, your welcoming you to West Bloomfield. Good to have you here. So obviously bigger Easter weekend and uh, we had a lot of Easter events have some of them actually started before the weekend, including the spring fling egg scramble and flashlight hunt. Here are some pictures from that amazing event. We just scanned through those. Nearly a thousand kiddos enjoyed um, having all kinds of fun, seeing the bunny, going after the eggs, seeing all the animals, the petting farm, the train rides, and of course, all kinds of other egg themed funds. There's a bunch of our fellow West Bloomfield residents. They have their young ones out with them having a really, really good time. And Good job, West Bloomfield Parks and Recreation, for putting on the annual Spring Fling Egg Scramble. Not to be outdone, though, but certainly equaled by all of our good friends in Kegel Harbor, who also got together for their Easter egg hunt. Look at Rob Kalman right there with the Easter bunny <laughs> um, and uh, having a great time. But it wasn't just the older people. There were the younger people. Let's roll the video. We actually have a video clip of Kegel Harbor's um, egg hunt. Let's see, see if we can roll. There we go. And uh, it's just shot by somebody on Facebook who was actually there. Look at all the kids having a good time getting those Easter eggs right there at 11 o'clock sharp. They were on time and and uh, having so much fun. D kids just love this. I think I think next to Halloween, <laughs> this is probably the most fun they have all year. So great job, our communities uh, in Kego, in uh, West Bloomfield, and all of our other communities who put on some fun and entertainment. And look at how nice that weather was on Saturday. So note from the uh, West Bloomfield Township Clerk, Debbie Binder, she says, we need you to give back to your community you can make some money enhance your resume or if you're a college student continue to work or a prospective college student continue to work on on applying to college if you're retired and you need some extra retirement dollars here is a great opportunity you can become a west bloomfield election inspector we need, we need more debbie could use your help call debbie binder in the office the clerk's office west bloomfield township telephone number right on your screen it's 248-451-4848 as you can see and then there's the email address you got that but we'll give you a minute to take a picture of that uh, with your phone to get all that information if you are uh, listening on the radio this morning we invite you to go to the clerk's website, wbtownship.org, and uh, head off to the clerk's uh, page, and you'll find all that information. But a uh, great opportunity for you to get involved in the electoral process. And, you know, I know there's a lot of controversy about elections these days. Well, the best thing you can do, get involved. Make it better. One person can make a difference. You can be that person. So we have a uh, very, very interesting program scheduled for tomorrow. Again, a little bit of controversy here with school safety. Um, but again, here we can come together as a community and do all we can to make sure our children are safe while they're at school. And you're invited to join West Bloomfield School District and safety leaders from around our area, like Chief Mike Patton of the West Bloomfield Police Department, 
for our Gun Safety Forum. We'll discuss many important topics affecting children today. Refreshments will be served. There's no registration necessary. It's going on tomorrow night, 6 to 8 o'clock, and that is all going to be going on at the West Bloomfield Middle School, 6000 Orchard Lake Road. If you've not been there, amazing building, good opportunity to get in and be a part of this very important program and, uh, and see the school if you don't have any students that are enrolled. So West Bloomfield High School Theater presents the musical cop uh, comedy Urinetown. Yes, you, you heard me right. Urinetown is actually the name of it. West Bloomfield High School Theater Department proudly presents the musical comedy Urinetown. Shows will take place April 27th through the 29th at West Bloomfield High School. Of course, located on Orchard Lake Road, a little bit up the road from the middle school, 4925 Orchard Lake Road. You know where it is. What is Urinetown? Well, here's what they say. Because should I use my trailer voice? In a world gone bad. No. Um, in, <laughs> sorry. In a Gotham-like city, a terrible water shortage caused by a 20-year drought has led to a government-enforced ban on private toilets. Citizens must use public amenities. And so in the humor ensues. You can see the students, they are hard at work practicing to get ready for this musical. It is an irreverent, humorous satire where no one is safe from scrutiny. Christine Stevens, theater director, says there's so much laughter in the show, it's absolutely ridiculous fun to work on. Sure, the title is a little strange, kind of caught. I wanted to make sure I was pronouncing it correctly when I first saw it. But yeah, it is your in town, um, but it should be a lot of fun. Now, we have a trailer. We have the theatrical trailer, and uh, this give you a little idea of what the students are going to be producing here in West Bloomfield at the end of the month. Let's, let's check it out. Well, hello there. Welcome to Urin Town. Not the place, of course. The musical. Urin Town, the place is, well, it's kind of a mythical place, you understand? It's filled with symbolism and things like that. Say, uh, Officer Lockstock? Mm -hmm. Did you say Urin Town? Mm -hmm. I mean, Urin Town? Really? Yeah. What kind of a show is that? Urin Town? Well, all you really need to know, little Sally, is it's the kind of musical that's adored by audiences and critics. It's filled with side-splitting comedy, the love story, people singing. It is a musical, after all. The kind of musical that makes you laugh or cry and laugh again. Well, this is your in town. This is your in town. I'm from here at your in town. It's in this sense of your So <laughs> there was the uh, the uh, theatrical trailer. You can see the show was at the Apollo. But here in West Bloomfield, won't be long. You're in town coming the end of the month. We'll have more on that as we get closer to that day. Good luck to the students. Not easy to pull off a musical. Not even, not and probably even harder to pull off a um, musical comedy. But looks like they got a great script, a lot of fun, and I wish students in the theater program the best of luck. I know it's going to be fun and I'm, I'm looking forward to uh, to attending. Let's talk about what West Bloomfield Youth Assistance. They are proud to host their 27th annual Youth Recognition Awards Ceremony. It's going on Wednesday, May 10th, so we got a little bit of time, but I wanted to make sure you're aware of it. This is some video from uh, a previous year's event, of course, every year. Um, or virtually every year if we don't have any conflicts. We broadcast this live on Civic Center TV. It's always a busy week because it's real close to, to the Michigan Week event, too. But uh, mark your calendar, May 10th, West Bloomfield Middle School, and it's going to be at 6 o'clock in the beautiful 
Auditoria. And uh, it's really one of our most cherished events in West Bloomfield, the Youth Recognition Awards Ceremony, where youths from our community are recognized for their volunteer services, a concern for the well-being of others, personal self-growth, and developing leadership skills. Nominations come from our area schools, hospitals, and religious organizations. Of course, the folks in public safety weigh in as well at fire and police, and, uh, and then also private citizens engage in the nominations. Local county and state dignitaries are there, and uh, we hope that you attend West Bloomfield Youth Assistance Award Program. And again, uh, mark your calendar. It's going to be the 10th of May. So, um, not sure what youth assistance is all about. Here's a video from, admittedly, a couple of years back, uh, but it features Kurt Lawson and others talking all about West Bloomfield Youth Assistance, giving you a little idea of, of the fine work they do. Let's watch. Hello, my name is Kurt Lawson. I am the Deputy Chief of Police of the West Bloomfield Police Department. I want to let you know about an important organization that provides vital services to both our youth and families right here in West Bloomfield. West Bloomfield Youth Assistance is a nonprofit group that provides confidential, short term, family centered counseling services while also funding important prevention programs throughout the West Bloomfield community. Youth Assistance also prides itself in recognizing young people from our community for making positive contributions. The Youth Recognition Award Ceremony, which occurs each spring, ensures that positive behavior is rewarded and not overlooked. West Bloomfield Youth Assistance provides summer camp scholarships to those in our community that are in need, as well as a Mentors Plus program that allows children 6 to 16 with a one-on-one -on -one meaningful mentoring relationship with a caring adult. The West Bloomfield Police Department has long recognized the importance of West Bloomfield Youth Assistance. We are glad to be a partner and invite you to learn more about the important role Youth Assistance has in our community. If you would like to find out more information about West Bloomfield Youth Assistance or you would like to make a donation, please visit wbyouthassistance.org or call 248-592-1278. Incredible program. Thank, thank you, Kurt Lawson, for uh, helping us with that promo and uh, your fine work at Youth Assistance. And don't forget this uh, event, May 10th. Mark your calendar. We'd love to see you. And we will, of course, uh, make every effort to completely cover that on Civic Center TV live. Um, it will be a busy week, but we will, we will do our very best. So speaking of Kurt Lawson, I had an opportunity just before the weekend to head over to the West Bloomfield Police Department. They are working on a $6 million renovation of the building. The building was built several years ago, and with all of the technology changes that have happened, over that period of time, it's definitely time. We've had technology changes. We've had the changes in the kind of the makeup of the staff. Let's be honest, the demographics and the makeup of the staff that has required some updates. Um, and, and then a whole lot more. I was walking around in, the, in, in, in one of the areas right near the front door, and I saw this old panel. It looked like it was something built out of the 70s. So I'm sure they have everything they knew to protect our community, but they need newer state-of-the-art updated facilities. It's something we need for our police department. It does an incredible job protecting us. So the Township Board has approved this project. It began about a month ago. The building is in pieces now, a little bit. But uh, Kurt was really kind to give us a tour of the building and, and take us into the inner sanctum of the police department and, and show us the very beginning of the construction. Um, they've got some walls down and whatnot. So we're going to do that in a minute. We come back. We'll take that tour and uh, then we'll um, come back when they're done and see a and B and see the improvements, but uh, they're making great progress over the police department. So we're going to take a break. We'll be back in a minute. Dave Scott, Civic Center TV. Thank you for tuning in to the Splash Live this morning. Enjoying this beautiful weather here in West Bloomfield, 80 degree temperatures this week. How about that? We'll be right back in a moment and we'll take a look at what's going on inside the police department with a renovation after this. We'll be right back with The Splash Live.
Wake up, Greater West Bloomfield. Start your mornings with a splash and tune in for the splash live. Get acquainted with people, places, and activities that are live, local, and for you. First thing in the morning, weekdays at 9.30 a.m. on our Civic Center TV YouTube page or watch us live at Civic Center TV or on Facebook. The Splash Live, Greater West Bloomfield's live update show. And now, back to The Splash Live. Hi, Dave Scott, Civic Center TV, back here in the inner sanctum of the West Bloomfield Police Department, where you don't normally get a chance to go. And look who we ran into, Kurt Lawson. Hey, Kurt, how you doing? Great. How's everybody out there? We're all fantastic. Now, there are big things going on here. Um, exciting construction going on. Tell us about it. Well, we're super excited. After a year and a half of planning, we've begun construction on our three-phase project here at the West Bloomfield Police Department. I'd love to give you a tour of where we're at a month and a half in. Excellent. Let's go for a walk. All right. Well, this is where all the magic happens, so let's go on in here. So this area that you see right here, this used to be our records department. Now, this building was finished in 1991, and nothing at all was ever done to this part of the building. And so what we're going to do is we're going to turn this old records area into a very modern communication center for our dispatch. Uh, we're going to have four stations here. We're going to have our dispatch manager's office. And we're going to have a very, very high-tech uh, video wall uh, up here. So our dispatchers can monitor cameras around the, uh, the complex here. They have their own uh, lunch room. And this is really going to be a very modern, updated facility, one of the best here in Oakland County. And we're, we're super excited about that. So as we walk uh, this way, as you can see, this, is, uh, this wall is uh, a quarter wall. We're going to have this as uh, bulletproof glass here. It's going to be very open, very modern. Um, we want a very contemporary look at our new police department here. We've really done very little work since 1991 on this police station. So we really owe it to our men and women to update, uh, to make, make it as progressive as we are as a police department, and that's our goal. It's going to help us attract talent, and so we're super excited. This is our old library right here. And what we've done is uh, we're going to make this into a wellness room. And our peer support team that we have here at West Bloomfield is going to personally design and outfit this room uh, for the comfort of our officers, our men and women, when they need to take a break. Uh, for our lactating mothers, they'll have this room available to them. So this is a very exciting room for us, and it's, uh, it's well uh, it's, it's needed by our people. Do you have a wellness room right now, or is this going to be we a don't. new feature? This is some, it's a new feature. Uh, it's something where you know, we, we look at officer wellness as being so important these days. You know, they see so many things. They're involved in so many things. It's a great place for them to come and just decompress. Uh, right here, we can see this is our report writing room. And uh, we'll be redoing all the tabletops in here. Our officers come in here. They do their reports. It's going to be a great place for them to be able to sit down and write a very detailed report. All of our supervisors' offices are being redone, modernized. Uh, we're doing less paper these days, so we want to have uh, less counter space. We want to make sure they have very modern computers and, and the very best. So this is our briefing room where our officers come in for briefing. Prior to going out on the road, they learn about what's going on in the township, uh, one of the you know, things that they need to look at when they're out on patrol. So this will be an updated uh, information briefing center here. Is that like we used to see at Dragnet where the chief would stand up in front of all the patrol officers? Exactly. Going? In right. this case, it'll be our sergeants and uh, they'll talk about what happened in the prior shift and things they need to look out for and things that are going on within the township and uh, just make sure the officers are informed before they go out on the streets. I say Dragnet. You can see the era of <laughs> my knowledge of television police. We're both getting and... a little older and those things are familiar. <laughs> Again, one of the officers, our sergeant's offices right here. This is our lunchroom, which we'll be completely redoing uh, for the officers to come in and have uh, breaks. Do, the, do your officers work long shifts typically, or can that happen in, in It can happen. So they're assigned eight-hour shifts, but it's, it's not uncommon for them to be held over to work a lot of overtime. So uh, we want to make sure that they have the proper facility here to make sure they're taken care of and they can do their job effectively. So that is phase one, is what you've seen right here. 
And uh, we're going to kind of jump ahead to what is going to be phase three, which is going to be redoing of all of our men's and women locker room. Uh, right now, we're having space issues. We have no more room left for female officers, and we've been hiring quite a few female officers. So we want to make sure that they have the, the locker room available to them. Um, we also want to have a modern locker room because there's just so much equipment that these officers have on them, on their person, in their cars, and we need a place to store those. So while we're talking about storage, I want to show you one of the reasons that we are redoing the police department as well is that we just have a massive lack of storage within the facility itself. Being over 32 years old, you're going to see how we are very much crammed in here. This is the only place within the police department that we have storage for files and equipment. I've worked here for over 10 years. I've never been down here before. And you may never get down here because I may not be able to open this door. <laughs> but uh, as you can see, we are absolutely packed in here. These are all case files that we have to keep uh, because of FOIA and retention laws. And we are 100% at capacity. So what we're going to do is we're going to build an outbuilding that's going to be temperature controlled, that's going to be able to house all of, the, all of this equipment. We're going to expand the men's and the women's locker room into this room as well as have another room, which we're really excited about. So can I ask you a quick question? Yep. This currently is a locker room and a storage room, or is that correct or am I misunderstanding? Well, this is a little locker room right here for our honor guard. Okay. So this, this will be moving as well. Okay. And over in this section, over here to my right, is going to be an, another room where we're going to house what's called a Virtra system. And this is a system where we're going to teach our officers with all these computer screens, uh, and technology on de-escalation, where they can literally look at a screen, uh, see a scenario, they can draw their weapon, draw their taser, they can de-escalate if they need to, and it was just a great training tool that's going to be coming in 2024. So let's take a look at the What's lock. What's that? This is a ram yeah, if you so. need to uh, open a door. <laughs> you got to get in somewhere. That's what I thought it was. So we'll have you take a look at the uh, one of our locker rooms. We'll look at the men's locker room. Uh, as you can see, it'll be very dated. The lockers are relatively small. Uh, we're going to be expanding the number of lockers as well as um, the size of the lockers. So as you can see, pretty antiquated. Uh, carpet's been changed once in 30 years. Tile's never been changed. Uh, the Formica, obviously very old. And like I said, we need to attract talent here in West Bloomfield. We want to hire the very best. And uh, it's very difficult to hire the very best when you have the pink tile here. So we want to upgrade our facility and, uh, for our people. And I think that the township, uh, the residents would welcome that. So, so this is, like I said, this is phase three. Let's go take a look at phase two, which is on the other side of the building. So it's been a very interesting process. This started about a year and a half ago when we uh, you know, started talking to the township board about what we felt our needs were. And the township board, and give them credit, they're very concerned about costs and how much this was going to cost with inflation and everything like that. So they gave us a, a robust budget of a little over $6 million. And we've promised them that we are going to stay within budget. And now we're a month and a half into the project. Things are going really well. We're actually ahead of schedule and the way we project it out is that we're definitely going to come in at or under budget so we're very excited about that and i'm sure the residents are excited as well this is our lobby the lobby is going to be completely redone we're going to lower down this countertop to be more customer friendly uh, we're going to remove the center part here so we have more glass uh, we want to have more customer friendly here. It's going to be all granite, uh, slate floor, very modern look for this facility. Moving this way is our current training room. We have 82 police officers and a little over 110 employees here in West Bloomfield. Uh, and this is the size of our training room. So as you're going to be able to see, we definitely need to expand the size of our training room to accommodate our personnel. 
Say hello to Sergeant Richter, who's hard at work over here. And during the construction, this is a multi-purpose room. We have our briefing room for our officers. We have a lunch room. We have a report writing room. And also the sergeants are housed in here. So there's a lot going on in a very small area. Everyone's making sacrifices and being patient as we get to the end game, which should be in December. So we'll move into the front desk and the current dispatch space. This is all going to be redone, as you can tell. Very dated, very worn, uh, all in need of upgrades. So this is the current front desk area. As you can see, pretty bare bones, uh, pretty industrial looking. We're going to make this very modern, more user friendly for our police service aides. Uh, they'll be able to service the public much better. Uh, we're going to take out this back wall here and have this as glass, um, much more open and inviting and modern. And this is our current dispatch center right here. As you can see, it's very crowded. Uh, they're very crowded in here. The lighting's not great. The workstations are about 15 years old. So they will be moving into the new communication center and our records people will have a brand new room in here. Anything critical going on right now? Not right now, <laughs> thankfully. Okay, good. But they were very, very busy earlier, I can yes, tell you that. Yes, yes. They were hit with three or four things at one time and of course, as always, they did a fantastic job, so. So that's our tour as far as uh, at this point. All right, great job, Kurt Lawson. Thank you very much for taking time to take us through the entire police department during this construction phase. Appreciate your time, and, and it was really great to get into the dispatch center as well and see uh, the current operations. And we are very much looking forward to having an opportunity to return to see uh, the updated facilities that will certainly help our West Bloomfield Police Department continue to protect our community. So we're all out of time. Thank you very much for tuning into the Splash Live. Um, I look forward to being with you the rest of the week. I'm actually going to run up to Grand Rapids for a couple days, so I think I'll be doing the show live from Grand Rapids tomorrow. We'll, we'll put it all together for you. Have a great day. Enjoy the weather, and uh, thank you very much for tuning in to the channel that has 90 minutes live and local programming for you each and every Monday through Friday morning, Civic Center TV and the Splash Live. Have a great day.